Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to do a editing video in Lightroom. I'm going to show you a photo that I took in Iceland. I'm going to edit it from start to finish and show you how easy it really is. So that's my original photo right there. First thing I'm going to do is lens correction. I'm going to enable profile correction. Luckily with the Z5 it already does this built in so I don't have to do it. But if you've got an older camera DSLR you probably will have to do this. It's important to do that to so make sure you do. Next step I'm going to come up to me crop and straighten. I'm going to straighten the horizon. Look for something rather than using the grid, which is a bit awkward to use sometimes. The simplest way is just to click on this angle, the light icon here, find somewhere straight that you know is straight in the photo. I'm just going to drag it across there, across there, and there you go. So it's straight and it's 0.17 out, out of alignment. And then uh, that's done that for us. Then I'm going to Use spot removal and clean the image. If you, if you hold command and the plus button down, it zooms in for you, and the command minus zooms back out for you. There's another little tip. So let's have a look right, zoom right in, check the sky out. The sky is going to be where you see most of your marks. If there's any splodges or anything on your lens. one right there so set me brush size to about that next one then that and keep moving around trying to find any can be boring but important to do it looks really bad if somebody spots it for you <laughs> I've had that happen before you missed that big splash mark in the corner Speed it up so you don't have to watch all this. That looks good. Images pin sharp as well, which is good. Here's a little tip when you're cleaning your image, if you can't see some of the dust marks or splash marks, when you click on the spot removal, if you just press A, it turns the image dark and you can you can see the, the marks much easier. So now if I scout the marks, see, there and there. So I zoom in, let's make the brush slightly smaller. Yep, see they were dust marks are in the sky. There's a splash right there. See it right there. Push slightly bigger. I should have put my glasses on for this. <laughs> Squinting away. Let's, let's move to the next one. So if you, that looks good anyway. So if you give the image a good clean, then I basically look at the image and ask, what do I like, what do I not like? Um, I'm going to crop this image, so I'm going to give it a one by one crop square crop as some people call it and I want to emphasize the strength of the photo which is these sand dunes they sort of mimic the mountain which I really like and the light is bouncing off the mountain and the tops of these sand dunes so it really draws the eye in so I'm going to go with that and I'm go too wide slightly change that actually sorry I'm going to go I don't want that mountain in there. I'm going to go about there. I may bring it in slightly. Go with that. That's good, I like that. Right, so the next step will be to. Do I need to change the temperature? I think I will cool it slightly. Just there. I like that, just slightly. I'm going to leave the exposure because I think it's 
I'm going to try and emphasize the highlights in this photo, especially the, the light hitting the top of the sand dunes and the mountain there. So I'm going to push the highlights forward and really give them a bit of, a bit of energy. I'm going to leave the shadows. And I'm going to come down to the whites. I'm going to slightly push the whites forward. About there, that brings it to life slightly. Pull the blacks back just a touch. And then I'm going to come, I'm not going to do much with this for, I might add a bit of contrast as well. That's about it, you don't need, it's, it's one of them photos you don't really need to do much. And then I will add a little bit of clarity. 12, 50, 12, 50, okay, and gentle bit of vibrance. And to finish the image off, I'll turn the lights off and I'll really give it a good look and see if I'm happy with it, yeah, which I am. That looks really good. It actually looks looks really good in black and white as well. I'm quite stuck with this image. I don't know whether I like it in black, white or color. It's quite a punchy image, especially when you get direct sunlight like that. It really looks good in black and white. But I do like the color as well. I really like the the square crop so I'm going to stick with that and I think that's about it. It doesn't really need any more than that. Simple as that. Okay guys I hope you've enjoyed that and um, just my simple way of processing really hope somebody can take something from it and um, everybody processes differently there's nothing uh, there's no set way of doing it really well, I don't think so anyway um, I'll see you in the next video